so in this particular tutorial uh, we will see what is import and direct query mode so uh, you might remember whenever we are connecting to an sql server database to import our data you might have seen there are two options called import and direct mode right so i will show you again so i will go to my new page and when i click on server right and i will try to connect to my server again so here you have two options the data connectivity mode and here um, it is an import and direct query mode right so uh, there are significance of both of these right what is mean by import mode and what is mean by direct query mode right so uh, we will try to understand that uh, through an ppt so i have created an ppt over here so let's understand what is an import query mode <coughs> sorry and what is a direct query mode so if you if you if you read over here an import query mode uh, it is a copy of data from selected tables and columns imports into power bi desktop so what we what we do over here actually here is that if you see in this particular diagram this is power bi so this is a power bi where you are working and here is your data meaning that whenever you are getting the data from ms sql server at initial level whenever you are bringing the data as we saw in the previous tutorial it will be stored in the power bi file as an uh, or it will be stored in an extract format in your power bi file right and whenever you are building any visualization in power bi power bi is nothing but it will send a query to the data which is available inside the power bi itself right it will not send the query to your sql server database right so try to understand properly correct so uh, uh so what what i will try to do is okay so now guys if you see over here uh, we will see what is an import query and direct query through an ppt <clears throat> okay so I'll, also i will try to explain it through a diagram so what an import query actually is it is a copy of data from selected tables and columns imports into power bi desktop right so what does it mean that whatever data we will be connecting through ms sql server or any other database right it will have an import and direct query mode so whenever we are doing it from import uh, query so what does it do is uh, it will bring the snapshot of your data from your database and it will stored in in power bi itself so let me explain it through a diagram so i will just draw it over here so this is your uh, let's say this is your power bi right and then uh, here in middle a table will be created and here 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 is your sql server right so this will be an excel server what will happen when you connect to your power bi through an import query method to ms sql server so what it will do all the tables you will bring it in power bi right so what what we will do then what what power bi will be do in intermediately it will create a temporary table over here and it will store all the data over here right so it will take the snapshot of data and it will store it over here and whenever you are writing any of the visualization what will happen is power bi will not go to your sql server to bring the data in the visualization it will bring the data from here itself right with whatever the data is been stored over here right so this is called as import mode it is nothing but it will not go to your underlying or the main source which is ms sql server database or any other database to bring the data inside right so it will just query to the data which is stored in power bi itself as a snapshot data or a history data then uh, instead of going to sql that is uh, this database so what are the uh, effects of this that you will not be able to get and live data into power bi so let's say today you are going and you are bringing the data from sql sir so whatever the data will be there for today it only will be brought over here in this data let's say tomorrow few 30 rows are available or updated over here those data will be not present uh, in power bi because you yesterday you brought that data over here so for that what we generally do is we refresh our databases or we bring the data again uh, into our uh, power query or sorry not power query in power bi uh, in this temporary table or we refresh the table uh, in between daily or hourly or two hourly so you will not have a live data access over here directly so this is how uh, you know import query works so you can see in diagram also it will be directly connected to the data which will be brought over here right 
so i will just delete this this and exact opposite thing is in direct query right direct query means what power bi here will be directly in connection with your data source that is your underlying data so if i draw over here so this is your power bi and this is will be your database so this is your power bi and this is let's say your sql database or any other database so it will be directly in connection with this particular table uh, whatever tables are there in your uh, source it will not create an intermediate table it will not create that so whatever visualization you will be bringing it will directly send a query to your uh, database uh, which is an original source and directly bring the data over here so you will be working with your live data directly right so uh, in between there will be no temporary or a historical or a snapshot of data created you will be directly querying to the sql server or any other database you will be using and you will be getting the results over here so this is the most asked interview question guys so just remember so here you can see it is directly here you can see it is directly querying the data on this right there is no intermediate data created like here right it is directly in contact with your data source so it will be giving us a live data i am saying it is giving you a live data right i hope you are understanding whatever i am telling you right so here also you can see no data imports into power bi desktop no data will be imported for relational sources you can select tables and columns to appear in power bi desktop data pane and it will be directly in contact with your underlying data you can see power bi desktop queries the underlying data source so you will always view current data between nothing but a live data so whatever those 30 rows you uh, those will be imported in your data source they will be directly visible in your data right here it was not the case in between there is a data uh, you know uh, stored or a snapshot created you have to refresh again and again those tables because power query or power bi in connects the data or queries the data in the table stored here here it is directly connecting to the data source right so now import query have their own uh, advantages disadvantages it is same with direct also so these are some uh, differences in uh, import mode and direct query mode so you can see the data storage will be in memory nothing but data will be stored inside the power bi but here the data will be directly at the source nothing but at database right here how is the performance it is very fast why because uh, the data will be stored inside the power bi memory so it will directly send the query to that particular uh, table which is inside the memory and immediately give us the result right only one system is working over here that is power bi but here it depends on how fast your database is because what here in direct query mode happens that you will be querying the data or you will be sending the query to uh, you know this sql server and based on its performance it will decide and give us back the results in power bi here two different tools are in work that is one is power bi and second is your underlying database whichever database you are using so i am saying query query again and again so what is query means so whenever you are creating any visualization in your power bi those visualization is nothing but a query sent to your database it is same as sql only but in sql you see it in the tabular formats but in power bi query is only performed in backend or at its backend uh, only the output will be provided you in the form of visualization right so that is the only difference in sql and power bi then data freshness freshness is nothing but whichever new data will be there in your underlying database it will be not brought directly in uh, power bi but it different on how much time you create a refresh schedule you have to refresh time to time here it will be always live data because you are directly connecting to data source the limit what is the size limit over here it is it is dependent on how much internal memory of power bi is there right because it is stored in the power bi here it is dependent on what is the capacity of your underlying data source right it is very much uh, obvious right then query complexity is nothing but it support complex talks attacks and calculated columns why because the data will be stored inside the power bi so writing complex dax is available over here but here uh, it is limited right because whenever you are writing complex dax and then you are sending it to the underlying database then it depends and it is a performance sensitive issue right then what is the application use or use case for this it is actually used for large analytical models or historical data right it means that if you are working on uh, historical data last 10 year data 11 year data 
then it is very much efficient to work on import mode but if you want real time operating dashboards like let's say share markets or if you are a, in a finance team and you want a minute to minute data in your power bi then this is important right moving ahead so these are the advantages of import mode and limitations of import mode so what are the advantages as i told you it is a very high performance because the eba data will be stored in memory in power bi so it will be querying very fast because its engine and queries will be directly sent to power bi to power bi right then rich modeling is nothing but we can actually create multiple relationships multiple tables we can write complex tax complex calculated columns and measures offline reports is nothing but user can interact with reports it means that if your data source fails right let's say uh, your sql server fails and there is an issue in sql server and the data is not available over there but your reports won't go offline why because the data is been stored at intermediate in snapshot in power bi itself in memory itself still you will be able to see the reports and your power bi will also not crash right so uh, compressed means what whatever the data will be brought from sql server into that in memory it will be compressed format it is very obvious and incremental refresh means what whenever you are working with large data set where millions of rows are there then it gives you and we that uh, instead of working on live and large data set bring the data whichever is important and then uh, create a refresh schedules right incremental refresh is nothing but let's say uh, today's date is uh, 1st of january 2026 today 100 records are been imported tomorrow new 100 records are created so only those 100 records will be refreshed and brought it into power bi that is called as incremental refresh right then what are the limitations of import mode so obviously no fresh data will be available until and unless we refresh it then memory constraints means what if there is a very large data set then in memory of power bi does not have that capacity to store that uh, that much amount of data inside it then we have to keep the refresh schedule limits right uh, i mean uh, it's not that we can apply 20 times refresh daily because uh, it will reduce the performance then right then initial load time is nothing but at first time whenever you are loading the data using import query uh, let's say it is a 2 gb 10 gb or 5 gb of data it will take so much of time to import that data in power bi in memory compress it and then bring it in power bi so initial load time will be higher right then we will move ahead to advantages and limitations of direct query mode so we will see first advantages so real time data obviously because it will be directly connected to the database then no data duplication because data always stays in the source so it will avoid the redundancy and unlimited source storage because uh, the data will be stored uh, inside the database at its underlying data and it will not use the power bi's memory <clears throat> so it is it is a very good example when we are working with very very large data sets right then there will be a security in the data because uh, if you do not directly bring the data in in memory database then uh, you, um, you don't have to worry about security but if you use import query that the data will be always stored if you share your power bi file with import query mode to any any person in your circle they will actually see the data right then low power bi storage cost because in memory day uh, data for power bi is not required when you are working with direct query there are multiple limitations also that performance overhead because performance of power bi depends on the data source which you are using if its performance is good then your power bi reports performance will be good then obviously you cannot write complex data calculations and uh, dax queries because uh, to load and send a query to an underlying data and then from there bring the results back in power bi it is very tedious and uh, complex queries will take so much of time getting uh, then query load on data source obviously there will be overload catching system is nothing but uh, the cache queries um, uh, you know the power bi might check queries and it's not always flexible to use it and there are some feature limitations also like you will not get uh, to use some power bi feature such as quick insights uh, which uh, is a co-pilot feature will not be available for you right uh, then 
what are the applications when to use import query and when to use a uh, direct query right so uh, import will be used when you are using high aggregations deep modeling multiple tables complex tax calculations when data size is manageable if the data size is very much not very much large you can use it if you are working with historical data and uh, whenever uh, always use import query if it is not required to show a real time data uh, always right and obviously uh, direct query uh, whenever we are required to show live or near to live data then we have to use this then uh, it is operational reporting uh, then uh, if you want to use for operational reporting we have to use this if the data source is very very much high then uh, we have to use direct query mode because in memory power bi database cannot store that data right then if you want good security then you have to use direct query mode and uh, if source system can handle the query load nothing but if the data uh which is stored inside the databases if it, if it is high performance and it can query faster then obviously go with direct query mode right so this is all about import and direct query mode it is a very frequently asked uh, interview question uh, in power bi and it is a kind of similar concept like live and extract which is available in w right uh, so this is all about import and query mode